Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Chaos Lord David. Welcome back to our let's play of Ace Combat 4 Shattered Skies. So, we'll do this part with Mission 2 Imminent Threat. The enemy held Wrigley Air Base is located in close proximity to our front lines, making it the proverbial knife at our throat. A large Erujian bomber contingent was deployed to Wrigley. Their intentions are clear. A full-scale strike on our forces at North Point is imminent. Your mission is to catch these bombers on the ground and destroy them. We intend to turn the parking ramp at Wrigley into a junkyard. So we've got yet another pretty simple mission. Uh... That is a, a lone orange target, which we'll definitely see at the start of the mission. Uh, so this is basically our air-to-ground mission. There are a few uh, air targets, and of course where the ace is. It's directly above the base. If you were to look at it, look at it on the map, which we'll get a better view of it uh, uh, during the mission, excuse me. We'll get definitely get a better view of it. And that way it'll, that way I can show you where the ace is. So I'll go ahead and uh, I'll use the uh, I'll put the guided bombs to use. Now, normally, if I were to do air to ground missions, I wouldn't use this plane. I mean, I mean, if you were to try to go for S ranks on air to ground missions, like uh, like some of the later missions, uh, I wouldn't use this. I would use a different plane because it's a lot better, in my in my, in my opinion, to use uh, a different plane. It's really good for air to ground on those kind of missions. So, mission two: imminent threat. Mission objectives: destroy all indicated targets. Press start button. Okay, so we start off uh, uh, about to pass over this uh, first first uh, target right here, this orange target, which is a uh, substation. So we'll get an easy 100 points to destroy this. Like so. Yep. And I'll go ahead and destroy these uh, other planes as well. Oh jeez, that, that bright sky. Yeah, no shit, it's not a drill. I mean, I, for some reason, I can actually recall the time that me and my older brother, when we played this... Oh, my brother was a, a Ace Combat uh, guy, too. We were both Ace Combat guys, because we got this... Uh, we, we started playing this game, I believe. Uh, I believe we started with uh, Ace Combat 2, because my uncle... Whoa! Almost collided with that. That was that came out of nowhere. Almost collided with that F5. Uh, we started getting into the Ace Combat series due to my uncle. Uh, who he had a uh, Ace Combat 2, and we just had a, f a heck of a time playing that game. That that game was just amazing. So that's how we got uh, into the Ace Combat series, specifically, more specifically, me. That also, in turn, kind of made me start getting into uh, uh, learning about aviation and uh, such. So if we were to look on the map here, the Ace would be right there, right above the base. Right, yeah, right above the base. So I'll go ahead and take care of the Ace here, which is the A10. Sifred. I hope I'm. Yeah, A10 Sifred. I can barely read that due to the sky. I'm not sure if it's uh, too bright on uh, what you guys are seeing right now, but it's a bit too bright on this HD, HD TV screen. So go ahead and shoot this guy down. Wow! That A10's got some moves. <laughs> I actually thought the A10 was going to be. This guy was going to be easy to shoot down. I mean, well, he's an ace. <laughs> Duh. But still, I thought he was going to be easy to shoot down. Okay, he's down. No, no doubt. Down he goes. Oh, let's watch the wreckage. I want to watch the wreckage. Uh, the camera, the camera is kind of weird in this game. Uh, it won't stay. Ah, whatever. It sucks that uh, uh, if you were to hold the right analog stick, which deals with the camera, uh, it doesn't actually look behind you. You have to tap on the uh, R3 button to uh, make it uh, the camera look behind you, which I think is pretty stupid. I mean, of course, you can also do up and down to look above and below. Pretty self-explanatory, really. It's basically if you, I mean, if you were doing this, in, if you were doing that in the cockpit view, it would be the exact equivalent. It would be the equivalent of uh, turning your head. You can kind of like imagine it uh, being in aerial combat yourself. So, pretty self-explanatory. But what this base uh, mainly consists of, the targets are the uh, the bombers, uh, more uh, Tu-95s. Naturally, give off 120 points in this mission. 
like unlike the uh, 100 point uh, T-95s in the previous mission. Where is this guy? Oh, down below me. <laughs> If he's down below me, then he's gonna have to blow me. <laughs> Whoa, looks like someone's getting shot down. Oh, and there's a flank, plane kit taking off. Better take him down. Plane's rolling out. Come on, lock on to him. No, don't lock on the bomber. Gotta catch that F4. Yes! <laughs> I caught the F4 before he but before he took off. Oh, and I think there's another one rolling it rolling rolling out. Yep, there's another one rolling out. Good night. And before you take care of the ground targets, I'll go ahead and uh, deal with this last uh, uh, F5 here. Bam! That really looked like I wasn't gonna hit it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show off these, put these bombs to use. Now these, now these guided bombs do have a bit of a blast radius, so it's pretty helpful. Uh, bombs are really good to take down uh, multiple targets if you're good. If you're really good at it, you can take down multiple targets with them. I'll, use, I'll drop some bombs on the T-95s. Let's drop some bombs on them. Let's see if I can get them all three of these at once. You gotta aim for the middle one. I, I'm trying to aim for the middle one. Okay, I have to switch to the missiles for this white for this AA gun. Wow! Don't tell me that that F-5 was really still falling. It couldn't have been. Let's aim for the middle one. I'm trying to aim for the middle one. All right, let's go. Bombs away. Get all three of them? Yep, got all three of them. That's just sick. That's a triple play right there. I mean, if you're good, you can really uh, get a, score a lot of kills with the bombs. But really, I prefer to use uh, like the air-to-surface missiles. For, that's that's just my opinion. All right, so we got the S rank for this mission, but I want to get the max score possible, which is what I'm going to get here. Very very easy mission. All right, let's drop the let's let's go out with a bang, literally. Let's literally go out with a bang, shall we? Aim for the middle one. Bam! Bombs away. Mission accomplished. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to hold down the circle button while I deployed the bombs. That was that would be like a super sick, uh, super sick uh, thing to look at. Cause like I said, you can also do it to the bombs, like like with the missiles. You can also hold the circle button with the special weapons, like the air to surface missiles and the bombs and some and sorts. Except you can't do it to uh, equipment that deals with like uh, dealing with jamming electronics. That's the only ones that you can't do. Uh, hold the circle button to see a, uh, uh, like a camera following it. That's the only thing you can't see, which pretty, which kind of sucks in my opinion. I just want to, I want to, I want to see if we can actually catch a, catch a bomb on replay. Actually, make it, make, make the camera follow the bomb because it looks really awesome. And just like the re, like I said about the replay in the uh, uh, previous mission, uh, the. Uh, Oh, but that follows the missile. That looks really cool. Uh, the replay feature always, always plays the last six minutes of the mission. That looks so awesome. Just gotta look. Just gotta love that. Gotta love that. I mean, the bombing part should be coming coming in in a little bit. I think so, anyway. Cause I want I want I want to see the uh, I want to see the camera follow the bombs. That looks just super sick. I mean, I was actually kind of blown away whenever I first saw this. Yep, there go the bombs. The camera's following them. Nope, I guess not. That really looked like the bombs for a second. I'm stinking contacts bothering. Okay, here come. Oh no, that's just taking down the F4. That's uh, rolling out. <laughs> I just can't. I just can't stop. I can't stop praising the replay feature in this game. It looks so awesome. Really, I really just can't stop watching it. I need to remind myself if I were to go try to do for multiple targets. Uh, if I were to use like a like a bomb, I need to uh, start uh, getting the cameras. There go the bombs. 
There they go. But it's not, the camera's not following them. It's not following the bombs. Come on. I wanted to at least just follow one bomb. Or at least try to get one bomb in it. That's a missile. Ah, you know what. I could probably do it the next time I use bombs. It's alright. The attack was a success. A significant number of enemy bombers were eliminated, and a full-scale airstrike on North Point was averted. So we get our uh, uh, stats in the mission, which we got the S rank and the... Uh, uh, I do believe this is the max amount of points possible. I mean, yeah, of course, what am I saying? It is the most max amount of points. Uh, 2,610 points. Uh, we get 129,000. For the S rank, we get 70,000. So we got 199,000. Pretty good, pretty decent amount. One night, a spirited group made their way up the door, chased out the sullen army grunts, and commandeered the place. Even I knew who they were. The patch on their sleeve was the mark of the proud Air Force. A loud-mouthed, middle-aged man went around, announcing each pilot's results for the day and his running kill record. For those who exceeded five kills, a thorough toasting and soaking followed. I believe it was their custom to call a pilot an ace once he shot down five planes. After completing the day's review, the same guy the squadron agent went on to announce. And now, for our leader's results. Everyone turned around to look at the quiet man who sat alone, strumming a guitar. I found myself drawn to the music from his guitar. Our yellow 13 bagged three more today, bringing his new tally up to 64 kills. With a tentative smile, the man with the guitar turned to me and asked me to accompany him on my harmonica. I brought it up to my lips and I started a new song. I had finally found him. But by some fluke, it was my father's favorite song. The one he used to play at the end of each day. That was just beautiful music. I always tend to think of this cutscene every now and then. It's just that that music is just oh so gorgeous in my opinion, really gorgeous. So that's gonna do it for this uh, second part of our Let's Play of Ace Combat for Shattered Skies. And in the next uh, part, we will start with we will do Mission Three: The Northern Eye. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this part, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.